Oh, this is example number four here. So example four, you are given porosity, specific gravity, moisture content, and this time you are asked to determine the mass of water to be added to 10 cubic meter of soil to bring the soil to full saturation. Okay, the soil is originally unsaturated, it's moist soil, and we're going to add water to bring it to full saturation. Again, this is a weight volume relationship problem. So we're going to use that phase diagram to solve this problem. So I'm going to draw the phase diagram here. Initially, the soil is moist. So there are three phases. We have solid, water, and air. So we have the three phases on the phase diagram. That's the initial moist soil. And then again, we have weight and volume side. Okay, so you probably see a pattern here. Phase diagram problem with, with volume relationship problem, we always draw a phase diagram first. Okay. So we have this phase diagram with three phases. And then let's look at what's given here. Let me skip one. Okay. So we have basically, we are given porosity, specific gravity, and uh, water content. And there are two ways to solve this problem. The first way is, if you look at the, uh, the givens here, everything is, again, in terms of ratios. So the first way to approach this problem is to assume the total volume is one. Okay, so I'll say approach one. So the first approach, we can assume total volume is one cubic meter. And then we find the water we need to add to bring this one cubic meter of soil to full saturation. So we find delta W uh, water. And then we multiply that number by 10 to get the water of for 10 cubic meter of soil. So that's one approach. And second approach, that's the one I'm going to take here. Then that delta W uh, for 10, then you solve for 10 cubic meter. Okay. Um, I'm going to take the second approach here actually. So we're going to use this 10 cubic meter of soil. Okay. So we're going to set V equals to 10. Okay. And the water content where the water we add is going to be the water we need to bring this 10 cubic meter of soil to full saturation. So I'm going to directly calculate our weight of water. Um, oh, excuse me, actually, actually this is mass. So I'm going to use M here. So we're going to directly calculate the mass of water needed to bring 10 cubic meter of soil to full saturation. Okay. All right. So this means the total volume is 10 cubic meter. So we know this actually. So let's put unit here. So that's cubic meter. And instead of weight, excuse me, I'm going to put mass here and unit of mass is uh, kilogram, um, okay, let's use this. So this is our phase diagram, and then total volume is 10, and the first given is porosity. So we know porosity is 0.4, so that's given. And the definition of porosity is the volume of void over total volume. And total volume is 10, so we know volume of void is n times v. So that's going to be four. Okay. And then the volume of solids is six.
So that's the volume. So we have ES is six. And then we have the total volume of voice. Okay, so it's actually volume air plus water. So that value is four. And then the next piece of information we are going to use, so that's porosity. We are also given this specific gravity, 2.68. And specific gravity, again, we did this for example one, so this is, oh, for example two. So this is gamma S over gamma water. Okay. And here, um, so this is going to be Can you write it this way? Okay, so, so I'm going to use mass here. So it's going to be rho s over rho water. Okay. So in terms of mass, I'm going to use density instead of unit weight. Okay. So it's the density of the solid over density of water. It's equivalent. And then density of solid is mass of solid over volume of solid times density of water. Okay. So now we can calculate the mass of solids. So it's going to be Gs times Vs times, oops, times density of water. Okay. And Gs is 2.68. Volume of solids is six and density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube. So that's, again, that's a constant. So that's density of water. So if you plug in numbers, uh, the mass of solids is 16080. All right, so we have used the second piece of information that's specific gravity. And then the final piece of information given is the moisture or water content. So water content is 12%. Okay. So using the definition of water content, we can figure out the weight of or the mass of water. So the mass of water is moisture content times the mass of solids. So this is going to be 12% is 0.12 times mass of solid, we just calculated to be 16,080. So that gives us the mass of water, which is um, 1929.6. So that's mass of water. And then again, we're going to use the unit over the density of water to figure out the volume of water. So the volume of water. So first density of water is mass of water over volume of water. Okay. So the volume of water is mass of water over its density, which is 1000. Okay. So this gives you 1.9296, and this is meter cube. So we have the volume of water figured out, and the last piece here is that volume of air, which is the difference in four and 1.9296. So that's going to be two point. 0704. Okay. Again, volume of air is that total, the volume of the voids minus volume of water. Okay. okay, so there you have it. That's the completed phase diagram. Okay. So that's the most important step.
So then now we have figured out all this mass and volume for different phases. And then, uh, so we're going to determine the mass of water to be added to bring this soil to full saturation. Okay. So to bring soil to full saturation, you need to understand what does full saturation mean. Okay, so full saturation. Okay. So simply means the saturation is 100%. So all the voids are occupied by water. That's a fully saturated soil. So S is 100%. Okay. So this S here is solid. So that means your degree saturation is 100%. And basically to bring this soil to 100% degree saturation, all you need to do is to fill that air with water. Okay. So we're going to fill this much water. So we're going to fill this, this void or this air with water. So that's how much water you need to add to bring the soil to full saturation. Okay. And then that mass is very, uh, you can calculate that very easily. So you know the volume and you know density of water. So the mass is very simple to calculate. So to bring this to full saturation, so this delta mass of water is volume of air times density of water. And that number is 2070.4. Okay. So that's the uh, mass of water you need to add to bring the soil to 40 uh, saturation. Okay. 